Isra, the night journey. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Glory be to him who carried his servant by night from the holy mosque at Mecca to the distant mosque at Jerusalem, the precincts of which too we have blessed, that we might show him some of our signs. In fact, he alone is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. And similarly, we gave Moses the scripture, and we made it a guidance for the children of Israel, saying, Take no one as a disposer of affairs apart from me. O you the progeny of those whom we bore in the ark, with Noah, to protect them from the deluge, he was indeed a grateful servant of ours. And in the scripture we have conveyed to the children of Israel, with certainty, saying, Twice you shall create disorder in the land, and shall surely become exceedingly overbearing and arrogant. So when the first of the two warnings came, we roused against you. Some of our servants possessed of great valor and might in warfare, and they penetrated into the innermost recesses of your country and habitations. Indeed, it was a warning about the punishment of Allah, bound to be carried out. Then we gave you back the power to prevail over these enemies of yours, and we helped you with various possessions and sons, and we increased your manpower militarily. We said, If you did good, you did it for your own selves, and if you did evil, it was only to the same end. So when the time for carrying out the latter warning came, we raised certain people against you to destroy your glory, so that they might do evil to you and your leading men, and invade and enter the mosque at Jerusalem in the same way as others of your enemies had invaded and entered it the first time, and so that they might destroy utterly all that they had conquered. Still, it is well nigh that your Lord will again have mercy on you, but if you return to mischief, we warn, we too will return to our punishment. We have made Jehenna a prison house for the ungrateful. This Qur'an assuredly guides to that which is most upright, and gives to the believers who do righteous deeds the glad tidings that there awaits them a great reward and also warns that we have grievous punishment in store for those who do not believe in the hereafter. As it is many a time a human being prays and calls for evil to himself, as he ought to pray and call for good. Human being is ever extremely hasty. And we have made the night and the day, such as they became two signs, in a way that we obliterated the sign of the night, and we displayed the sign of the day as sight, giving that you may seek the bounty of your Lord, and that you may learn from the alternation of night and day, the computation of years and the science of all sorts of counting and measuring. We have clearly explained everything and all knowledge of faith in detail. And every human being, we have made his deeds cling to his neck on the day of resurrection, and we shall bring out for him a book recording all his deeds, which he will find wide open. It will be said to him, Read your book. Sufficient is your own conscience this day as a reckoner against you. He who follows the right way follows it to his own good, and he who goes astray Surely he goes astray to his own loss. And no soul that bears the burden shall bear the burden of another, and we never punish unless we have sent a messenger. And when we intend to destroy a township, we first address our command to its lawless people, who lead lazy lives. But they revolt therein, so that it stands condemned, and we destroy it with an utter destruction. 
in accordance with this rule of ours we have destroyed many a generation after noah and your lord suffices as one who is aware and beholder of the sins of his servants for him who desires the present transitory life only we shall hasten an immediate reward for him in this very life giving what we will to whom we will but we have prepared jehenna for him he shall enter it condemned and rejected as for those who choose the hereafter and strive for it the striving that is its due and are believers it is these whose striving shall find favor with their lord to all of them these who hanker after this world as well as those whose choice is the life to come we render aid and this is out of the bounty of your lord the bounty of your lord is not confined to any one section of the people behold how we have exalted some of them above others in the present life yet the hereafter holds out greater degrees of rank and confers greater merits and excellence do not set up another god with allah lest you remain debased and forsaken your lord has enjoined you to worship none but him and to be good to parents if either or both attain old age while living with you never say to them fee any word expressive of disgust or dislike nor reproach them by your action rather address them with kind and respectful words always and lower to them the wings of submissiveness out of tenderness treating them with humility and compassion and say praying for them my lord have mercy upon them just as they nourished and brought me up as a child your lord knows very well what is in your minds if he will find that you are righteous surely he is a great protector of those who turn to him for forgiveness again and again and give to the near of kin and the needy and the wayfarer their dues and do not squander your wealth wastefully certainly the squanderers are like satans and satan is always ungrateful to his lord if you have to turn away from them seeking the mercy from your lord that you hope for even then speak to them a kind word and do not keep your hand shackled to your neck out of miserliness nor stretch it out to an entire stretching extravagantly lest you sit down reproached incurring blame and exhausted on becoming penniless surely your lord multiplies his provisions and means of livelihood for such of his people as he will and he measures it out justly for he is well aware and seeing the true needs of his people inside and out and do not kill your children for fear of want it is we who provide for them as well as for you indeed the killing of them is a great sin and keep away from adultery and fornication surely it is an abominable act and an extremely evil practice and do not kill any one the sanctity of which allah has upheld and has forbidden you to slay except for a just cause and we have given of course to the heir of the person who is killed unjustly the right to demand retribution or to forgive but let him not exceed the prescribed limits in killing the murderer because he is indeed helped and protected by law and go not near to utilize the property of an orphan except in the fairest manner and intention in favor of the orphan until he attains his age of full strength when the property is to be returned to him and fulfill your agreements for every agreement is certainly questioned about and has to be accounted for and give full measure when you measure out 
and weigh with a right and even balance that is best and most commendable in the long run and do not follow and utter that of which you have no knowledge surely the ear and eye and the heart all of these shall be called upon to account for it and do not walk haughtily in the land for you cannot thus rend the earth asunder nor can you match the mountains in height all these doings are such that the evil in them is simply hateful in the sight of your lord these teachings are a part of the wisdom which your lord has revealed to you and the basis of all these acts of righteousness is that you set up no other god beside allah lest you be cast into jehenna condemned rejected disbelievers has your lord favored you with sons and chosen for himself daughters from among the angels surely most grievous is the blasphemy you utter and certainly in this quran we have explained for the people the truth in a variety of forms that they may take heed and become great but their condition is such that it increases them only in aversion say had there been other gods as they allege beside him the one god in that case these polytheists would have certainly sought out by their help a way to the lord of the mighty throne glory be to him and far high indeed be he exalted above the things these polytheists say the seven heavens the earth and all those inhabiting them extol his glory in fact there is not even a single thing but glorifies him with his true and perfect praise but you do not understand their glorification verily most forbearing is he great protector and when you recite the quran we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter an impregnable screen and we cover their hearts with veils and plug their ears with something heavy lest they should understand it and when you mention the name of your lord who is the only one in the quran they turn their backs on it in aversion we know very well the purpose of their listening when they listen to you and the purpose with which they confer when they confer in private and when the unjust say you follow none but a man who is defrauded and deprived of reason behold how they coin similitudes to depict you as a result of which they have gone astray so they will not be able to find a way of their salvation and they also say what when we are reduced to bones and that too broken particles of dust shall we then be really raised again to a new life say yes even if you be reduced to stones or iron or some other creation yet more hard that you can possibly conceive in your mind even then you shall be raised to a new life thereupon they will say who will restore us to life say the same who originated you the first time at this then they will shake their heads at you expressing wonder and disbelief in being raised and will say when will it come to pass say maybe it is near this promise will be fulfilled on the day when he will call you forth then you will respond to him saying his praises and you will think that you have tarried in the world only for a little while and say to my servants that they should speak only what is gracious for satan is keen to provoke discord among them satan indeed is an enemy to the people disuniting one another your lord knows you best he will have mercy on you if he will or he will punish you if he will and we have not sent you to be a disposer of their affairs 
authorizing you to punish them or to reward them. And your Lord knows best those that are in the heavens and on the earth. And most surely we have exalted some of the prophets above others. And it is we who gave David the Zabur. Say, call upon those whom you assert to be gods apart from him. Then you will realize they have no power to rid you of affliction, nor to avert it or transfer it to others. Those whom they call upon apart from him, thinking them to be a means of gaining nearness to God, themselves seek nearness to their Lord, and solicit his favor, even those of them who are nearest to God are still competing to be closer to him, and hope for his mercy and fear his punishment. As a matter of fact, the punishment of your Lord is a thing to beware of. And there is no township but we shall destroy it, or we shall subject it to a severe chastisement before the day of resurrection. That is written down in the book. And nothing could prevent us from going or sending our signs, though the former people cried lies to them. And we gave to Thamud the she-camel as an enlightenment and an eye-opener, but they dealt with her unjustly. And we do not send our signs except to warn the people against the evil consequences of disbelief and transgression. And Prophet, recall the time when we said to you, Surely your Lord has encompassed all people for destruction, and has power over them. Still they remained indifferent. We made the vision which we showed you being carried to Jerusalem from Mecca by night, and also the tree disapproved of in the Quran, a means of distinction between the good and the bad for the people. Despite the fact that we have been warning them by sending our signs, this warning from us only leads them to unrestrained inordinacy. And recall the time when we said to the angels, Submit to Adam. Then they all submitted. But Iblis, who too was told to do the same, did not. He said, Shall I submit to one whom you have created out of clay? And he added, What do you think? This is he whom you have honored and placed above me. If you grant me respite until the day of resurrection, I will most certainly bring his progeny under my sway. Having overpowered them, I shall destroy them for sure, except a few. Be gone, said he. As for those of them who follow you, Jehenna is the recompense of you all, an ample recompense and beguile whomsoever of them you can with your speech, and rally your horsemen against them, and your footmen, the fast riders and the slow walkers in disobedience, with all your might, and share with them their wealth and children, and hold out promises to them what you like. Indeed, Satan promises them nothing but mere fraud. As to my true servants, you shall certainly have no authority over them, and sufficient is your Lord as disposer of affairs. Your Lord is he who drives the ships on the sea for you, that you may seek of his bounty. He is certainly ever merciful to you, and when you encounter some distress on the sea, at that time all those gods whom you call upon are lost to you, but not he. Yet when he brings you safe to the land, you turn away from him. Of course, such a person is very ungrateful. Do you then feel secure that he will not humiliate you in the side of the land and make you sink in the earth on the side of the shore or send against you a violent squall of pebbles? For if he does, you shall find none responsible to protect and help you. Or do you feel secure and have made sure that he will not send you back in it a second time, and then send against you a fierce storm-blast, and drown you because of your ingratitude, 
for if he does you will find no helper in the matter for yourselves to protect you against us and most surely we have made the children of adam greatly honored and have carried them over land and sea and we have provided them with good and pure things and have distinctly exalted them far above most of our creation beware of the day when we shall call all people along with their leaders now whoever is given his book in his right hand such will read their book eagerly and they will not be dealt with unjustly in the least but whoever remained spiritually blind in this world shall also be blind in the hereafter rather he will even be farther removed from the right path and they had spared nothing in causing you the severest affliction with the purpose to turn you away from the revelations given to you that you might forge in our name something different from that which we have revealed to you in that case they would surely have taken you for a special friend and if we had not made you firm and steadfast you might have inclined towards them a little in that case if you had been one to forge a lie against us we would have made you taste multiple sufferings in this life and multiple sufferings in death and then you would have found for yourself no helper against us they had spared nothing in unsettling you from the land of mecca with the result that they drive you out from it but in that case they themselves would not have stayed after you except for a little while such has been our practice with those of our messengers whom we sent before you and you will find no change in our practice observe prayer at the declining and paling of the sun on to the complete darkness in diverse hours of the night and recite the quran at dawn verily the regular recital of the quran at dawn is specially acceptable to god and witnessed by the angels and remain awake for it for a part of the night after having risen from sleep as a supererogatory service for you thus it may be that your lord will raise you to a laudable exalted position and say in prayer my lord grant that when i enter wherever you take me to while migrating i enter with truth in every way and when i depart i depart with truth and grant me by your grace authoritative help and say truth has come and falsehood has vanished away falsehood is indeed ever bound to vanish away and we are gradually revealing of the quran that teaching which is the cause of healing and mercy for the believers but this revelation only leads the unjust persons from loss to loss and when we bestow favors on a human being he turns away and withdraws himself aside and when evil overtakes him he is given to despair say everyone acts after his own way and fashion and your lord knows very well who is best guided in the right path and they question you about the revelation and the human soul say the revelation and the soul is by the command of my lord because little is the knowledge thereof that you have been given had we so willed we could surely take away that which we had revealed to you if we did so you could find none to plead your cause to restore it to you against our will but it is the special mercy from your lord that he will not do so his grace and favor upon you is a very great thing in fact say if there should join together all human beings and the jinn to produce the like of this quran they would never be able to produce anything like it even though some of them might be the helpers of others and in this quran we have explained in various ways 
all kinds of rare things of exquisite beauty to humankind. But most people choose to reject everything except following the way of disbelief. And they say, we will never believe unless you cause a, a spring to gush forth for us from the earth. Or there be a garden of date palms and vines for you, and you cause the streams to gush forth abundantly in its midst. Or as you assert and claim that it shall happen, cause the heaven to fall down upon us in fragments, or bring Allah and the angels face to face with us. Or there be a house made of gold for you, or you ascend into the heaven. But we will not believe in your ascending till you bring down to us a book that we can read. Say, Glory be to my Lord. I am not but a human being sent as a messenger. And nothing has prevented the people from believing when the guidance came to them except their sayings. Has Allah raised a human being like us as a messenger? Say, had there been angels on the earth in place of human beings, walking about secure and sound, we too would have invariably sent down an angel from heaven as a messenger to them. Say, Allah suffices as a witness between me and you. Surely he is ever aware of and sees his servants full well. He whom Allah guides to the right path is the only one rightly guided, but those whom he abandons to perish, you will find no protecting friends for them apart from him, and we shall gather them on the day of resurrection, dragging them on their faces. They shall be blind, dumb, and deaf. Jehenna is their resort. As often as it, the flames of the hellfire, abate, we shall add fuel to the blaze for them. Such shall be their recompense because they rejected our commandments and said, Shall we really be raised up as a new creation, when after our death we are reduced to mere bones and broken particles of dust? Had they not seen that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, has the power to create their like? And he has appointed for them a term, no doubt about it. Yet the unjust would reject everything except following in the way of disbelief. Say, even if you possessed all the treasures of the mercy and blessings of my Lord, yet you would hold them back for fear of depleting for a human being is very niggardly indeed. And most certainly, we gave Moses nine clear signs. So ask the children of Israel about it. When he came to them, Pharaoh said to him, Moses, I think you to be under a spell and a victim of deception. He said, You know fully well, that none other but the Lord of the heavens and the earth has revealed these signs as means of enlightenment. Surely I believe you, O Pharaoh, to be doomed to perish. So he resolved to weaken them by humiliating them, and thus scare them out of the country. But we drowned him and those with him, one and all. And we said after it was all over with Pharaoh, to the children of Israel, settled down, occupying the promised land of Palestine. When the time of fulfillment of the second prophecy comes, we shall bring you back, gathering you from various lands. We revealed it, the Qur'an, to suit all the requirement of truth and wisdom, and it has come down to you with truth and wisdom. Prophet, we have sent you on one hand, as a bearer of good tidings, and as a warner on the other. We have divided this Qur'an into distinct chapters, and have revealed it in stages, that you may recite it to humankind at intervals, and that is why we have revealed it piece by piece and in stages. Say, you may believe in it, 
or you may not believe. Those who have been given the spiritual knowledge before it fall down on their faces, prostrating submissively before their Lord when it is recited to them. And they say, Glory be to our Lord. The promise of our Lord is really bound to be fulfilled. They fall down on their faces, weeping, and as they listen to the divine words, it adds to their humility. Say, Call upon him by the name of Allah, or call upon him by the name of Ar-Rahman, the Most Gracious. In short, call upon him by whichsoever name you like. All beautiful names belong to him. And utter not your prayer in a loud voice, nor utter it in two low tones, completely concealing it, but seek a middle course. And say, All true and perfect praise belongs to Allah, who has not taken to himself a son, and who has no associate partner in his kingdom, nor has he any helper because of any weakness, and extol his glory with repeated glorification.